Hi everybody, I'm Paul Tran. Welcome to Learn and Unplugged, the place to come for acoustic music and acoustic learning. By acoustic learning, we mean learning with no technology, except the camera pointing at me right now. What we do on Learn and Unplugged is we take a look at some simple, effective models that help us to think and do things differently. So let's put the guitar away for a moment. Today we're going to take a look at a model that I use frequently when I'm working with team leaders. It's a model from John Adair. It's what he calls action-centered leadership. A model that just gives us three things to think about when we're leading our team. And we're going to go through all three stages and have a think about how we can use this model in action. So let's start off with Adair's first part of, of this model, which is what he calls task. And this is where literally we concern ourselves with what has to get done. So this is where we, we plan tasks, we allocate who does what. We have a think about quality control and performance of each task. And we also make sure that the group communicates effectively with each other as they go through each task. So that's the first stage. The second stage is where Adair talks about team. And this is where we have a think about the standards that we expect from our team, who does what in each task so that everybody knows who is doing what and why. It's also the, the point where we take a look at how we motivate and how we encourage the team generally. We also concern ourselves here with making sure team spirit is high, morale is high. So that's the team stage. The third stage is where we concern ourselves with the individuals within our team. So we may pay attention to everything that we do with the team, but we just do it on a personal basis with each individual. But this is also the stage where we make sure that every individual feels valued within themselves and that all their contributions are valued too. And this is where we recognize individual skills and talents and really shape that so we get the most out of each individual. And if we need to, we support, we coach, we train. So that's the individual stage. So there you have it. John Adair's action-centered leadership concerns itself with team, task, and individual. Now let's think about how this plays out in the workplace. What we've got here is a fabulously accurate Venn diagram. That's, that's meant to be three equal stages folks by the way. What we're thinking about here is making sure that we balance out task, team and individual as much as possible. There are some potential pitfalls here. Most leaders I speak with these days spend more of their time on tasks because we need to get stuff done. Our business depends on it. It's also what we're often measured on. And if we focus on task a bit too much, we may lose a little bit of team morale and we may just lose one or two individuals in the case that they just don't perform as well or they don't feel as part of the team as much as they would like to. If we focus too much on the team, stuff doesn't get done. We might have a great time, but we don't do things as well as we could do and some individuals feel left out. And if we focus on certain individuals too much, there's less chance of everything getting done. And also team morale can go because there's a perception that we're spending too much time with one or two individuals within a team. So my suggestion to you would be is to have a think about what you need to do, what, uh, what you need to do to accomplish task, what you need to do to keep the team together and working together effectively, and what you need to do to keep each individual on track. And if you focus on all three, what tends to happen is you get more done, you get more done well, you also take the team and each individual with you. So that's John Adair's Action Centred Leadership. Give that a go. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. And if you want to know a little bit more about Learn and Unplugged or my work in general, please take a look at the website, which is ptps.co.uk, or you can look at the YouTube channel, which is Paul Tran Trainer. Have fun getting to grips with action-centered leadership.
and I'll see you soon on the next Learning Unplugged.